everybody. Welcome to the Cantor Diva Daily Dose. I'm Gianna. And I'm Chasta. Some of us have been married once. Mm-hmm. Some of us more than once. <laughs> and you know what? When you get back out on the horse, back in action, there's probably a couple things you want to keep in mind, especially if you are um, newly divorced or newly broken up in a relationship before you actually go out into the dating scene. That's right. I can speak from experience because I have been divorced. Um, it's kind of interesting. We talked about I have a couple friends who are having babies. I also have a couple friends who are going through divorces. Mm-hmm. And as somebody it's who's gone fun. through a divorce, it is definitely not fun. Um, but I did talk with, uh, Facebook with one of my friends that's going through divorce and she, like me, um, feels like it will be good. It would be better for both of them in the end. Really? Um, is it amicable? It is. I mean, oh, it wow. is. That's from what I understand. Um, they have a gorgeous daughter and Aww. they feel like it's probably going to be better for her. And so I think they, they understand that they're doing the right thing. They're not happy for whatever reason. I don't know the details, but, um, that they feel like that it's a good thing. And that's where I was in, in our divorce. We, um, grew apart and he's much happier now and I'm much happier now. And it, it all worked out. People that's, change. People do change. You get older, you, you know, you, whatever you were at that age, when you got married, you might be someone different later on down the road and it happens. So it's not a bad thing no. for everyone. Sometimes it's nasty, but right. overall it, usually works out in the best. It does. It does. I mean, we were very young when we got married, so we were, it was bound that we were going to change pretty quickly because right. we were babies. So, and we actually happen to be really great friends. So sometimes it's a really positive experience. So here's a couple things. We found a really cool article on five dating mantras for divorcees. Because when I came out of my divorce, the last thing I was thinking about was dating. But it's important to get back out there. It, you know, very important. They, and there's I actually, someone for everyone. That's right. And you drug me out and that's where I, I ended up meeting my now husband, um, but I had no intention of meeting him that night. She just wanted to get me out of the house. And that's good, right? Right. See? When you least expect it. Okay, so one of the first things is you don't want to rush into it. No matter, you know, how, especially if it's, you know, if you're recently divorced, yes, you want to get out there. You want to, you know, get back in the swing of things, but don't rush into it because there are a lot of changes that are happening with the divorce financially, your situation, with your children, if you have children. So, Be cautious. Don't run it, rush into it. Just get out there and have fun. Get out there and have fun and don't jump into another relationship. Just yeah. stay around. Get that out of your system and, and it'll it'll work itself out. Number two, I won't repeat the mistakes of the past. That's like a no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the positive things coming out of a divorce, and my husband has, has also been divorced, um, is you know very clearly what you will and will not do again. Yeah. And you know what your boundaries are and what you'll put up with and what you won't. We both came, we came into our our marriage now really knowing what we wanted out of each other and you should never settle you, you know never if settle. it didn't work the first time if there's reasons that stick out like a red flag mm-hmm. don't date that guy the second time exactly do you know what i mean or that type of guy the second time around that's right that's it's really right. important uh number three i will have fun it's kind of touching on the same thing go out and have fun don't yeah. be you know sulking right on your couch go out and join a group or do something you know you haven't done before meet new people and I think if you have kids especially you know when you're meeting new people or you're trying to get back out there and having fun they see that they see that you're happy and I think it helps them to accept the you know the divorce a little bit better because they realize that maybe their parents are better apart than together we're not advocating it but it doesn't work for everybody it doesn't work for everybody. so just have fun exactly um number four I'll lean on my friends this Very was important hugely important yeah. for me. I actually lived with Gianna out of my divorce and it was hugely helpful because again, when I wasn't feeling like I wanted to get out of the house, she dragged me out and said, you know what? You're going. And the unfortunate thing that I had on top of my divorce was my dad, uh, my father passed away two months after. So right. I, sometimes <laughs> I didn't know what I was grieving. Random, over. weird, it crazy. It was a very bad year. Bad year. <laughs> It was a very bad year. the dark cloud. Yes, it was the dark cloud. But it's great to have friends that you can, you know, really rely on to drag you out of your funk. And what this article does talk about um, is maybe pulling from friends from your past to remind you who you were. Because in some marriages, people get lost. Oh, and just relationships. We all have yeah, that exactly. girlfriend who meets a guy and then she falls off the face of the planet because that's the end. I'll be off Exactly. Her. She gets lost in him. Don't get mad at her when she calls you up and they get a divorce or and break up. Be there for her. Be but there for her point. and remind her who she used to be before she got lost in that relationship. Maybe it'll give her the confidence to, yeah, you know. To get out there again. To get out there and just remember what she shouldn't do in the last relationship. Number five, I will discover and pursue my passion. Very important. I think when you get a divorce or when you separate from a relationship – 
you have an opportunity to rediscover who you are. Absolutely. And find your passion because if you're happy, then you're going to be happy in your relationship. That's right. And I keep, I think keeping with that when you go into the next relationship is really important because I tend to be one of those people that lose myself in my significant other. And I start living for their dreams and their passions and doing everything to help them and forget about me. And Gianna helps me not yeah, do, don't that. do that. Poor Pete. <laughs> you're a great <laughs> wife, but you're also it's very. It's about me. It is not. I'm just kidding. It is not. But I, I do, I do, I do that, and that's not good because every my sister in law even says that it's good to have your own passions and be really, um, you know, headstrong about what you want with your life because and be inspired by yeah, that. be inspired because it makes you a better, more fulfilled person, and you bring that into the relationship, and you're both happier. Absolutely. So, just some tips. You know, this is goes for people who are newly divorced or been divorced for a while, or you just got out of a, a relationship that maybe you you know had a big impact on your life. So, yeah. try these out. Hopefully they'll work and hopefully you'll find love in all the right places this time. <laughs> That's right. You can always email us at candidivas at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.